In this video, I will show you how to build this really neat looking indirect LED lighting system. It consists mostly of wood and other simple components which you can all gather very quickly and easily. Let's get started. First of all, let's take a look at the fundaments of the build. This 18mm thick and 120cm by 40cm long wood panel and those smaller wood laths with these measurements. We started by ripping off the plastic foil of our wood panel and all of this without too much rage because this stuff was wrapped up twice, which made total sense. Then we marked a couple of spots 8cm from the edge of the board and connected them afterwards to form a square which we can use in a second to position our lefts. But before that we used firstly a handsaw but later on a jigsaw to cut two lefts to a length of 104cm. And we used a bit of sandpaper to smooth the edges. Now it's time to position them and got our wood screws with a maximum length of 50 cm because otherwise they would stick out the other side. We used around 4 of them to hold our lefts in place and afterwards measured the gap between those to make one more smaller left with the jigsaw. Again we used the same screws to secure it and the initial prototype is done. But how do we secure it later to the wall? It's easy. We bought those plastic anchors with metal hooks and used a bit of precision measuring to find two ideal spots for them. And after a bit of drilling action, which only creates two shallow holes this time, we can move on to the fun part, the LEDs. For that, we drew another square around our lefts with a distance of 3 cm. Then we opened our warm white LED kit very carefully. And if you are interested, here are the specs for the kit. We used wire cutters to create four strips for the longer left sides because we actually built two of those lighting panels, so four strips. And used the already existing sticky tape of the LED strip and some hot glue to secure it firmly to our panel. Afterwards we also cut this smaller piece of LED strip which goes along the smaller left, obviously. Now to the wiring. We used a cutter to remove the silicon at the solder pads and used a bit of wire and solder to connect plus to plus and minus to minus. And we are done with the lighting. The really awesome thing is that this kit came with an RF remote, which is way better than an infrared remote and brings in a couple of lighting modes. Time to make the front look awesome with this wallpaper which looks like crocodile leather and some spray glue. Firstly, we laid the wallpaper on top, cut it to a nice length and applied a generous amount of glue onto the surface of our panel. Then we slowly lowered the paper onto it and pressed it in place to remove all the air bubbles. We flipped it around, trimmed off the excess paper with a cutter and secured it again with spray glue and a lot of staples. And we are basically done. Two awesome looking lighting panels. But we still had to mark a good spot on the wall, drill the holes and insert the plastic anchors with hooks to secure the panels in a minute. Then we did a bit of wire management on the back side of the panels to secure the receiver, power supply and connectors which connect the plus and minus terminals of both panels together. But now we are finally done. It looks really awesome and can even illuminate the whole room. And you can also hide the wires by adding a cable duct. I hope you liked this little project. You can find the parts list in the description. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That would be awesome. Stay creative and I will see you next time.